in details, uh, APIs and provider projects. In this video, we'll create a API project and a provider project and run them together. We first create an API of a simple expression evaluator. We need to make sure that we have the right execution environment because otherwise uh, bad things can happen. We use 1.8. We call our interface eval and uh, we must make sure that the create module info file is off or disabled. We finish and then uh, we go to the source code. There is a class, an interface created for us. And in there we make a simple eval method. We can now go to the bundle because that one is built automatically. And we open the jar file with a nice jar editor in BND tools. And we take a look at the exports. If you look at the package info file, and if you look at the manifest, you'll see there's an export package. And there's a little green plus sign on the package icon. Let us control through this export annotation. If we remove that, we see that the export package becomes private and the little plus icon disappears. If we restore it, it's immediately restored. We also see that the package has a version 1.0.0 and that is controlled to the version annotation. If we change that, you can see that the manifest changes immediately as well. Let's change it back. And then the next step is to create a provider. So we create a new provider project from the template, the provider template. And we call it com.example.eval.simpleprovider. Uh, check the execution environment. We want 1.8. We call the implementation evil impl. Um, we make sure that the uh, create module info file is not enabled or at least not checked. We now have a provider. We need to update the code to uh, use our eval interface that we just created in the API project. So we let this implementation implement eval. Uh, we get an error because eval cannot be resolved. Eval is not on the build path. We can edit the build path in the bnd.bnd file. And if we click on the plus, we get all the dependencies and we can add the dependency to our build path. We now go back to the implementation. We actually can see it and we can import it. We can then add the methods. And then we just paste simplistic implementation that was prepared. Uses a regular expression, nothing special. So now we have an implementation and we have an API project. The implementation, uh, it's interesting to take a look at the imports. You can see that the import package here is 1.0 to 1.1 and we have a private package. If we go back to the API project and we take another look at the package.info file and if we change the uh, version there, we can see that the import range of the package is immediately changed. You see now we import 1.2 to 1.3. BND tool tracks all these kind of details for you and they are always immediately uh, calculated. Okay, uh, the next thing is we go to the playground. And in the playground, we now also want to run our new eval provider uh, command. So we drag the provider, the simple provider, and we drag it into the run requirements. We resolve the run requirements. It creates a list of bundles. And once we have this list, we can actually debug it. 
it starts a framework and we try to run the command we get an error um, that was unforeseen the reason is we haven't had added the, uh, the properties to uh, the components to make the command be picked up by gogo so we had a gogo -go command uh, annotation and we gave it the scope and a function but the gogo -go command is not on the build path so we add it to the build path the annotation is in the gogo -go runtime finish it, save it and then we import the gogo -go command and now we should be able to run the command and that worked thank you for watching